Hey guys, it's Rufus. Confidence is going to be an ongoing battle, especially in a competitive game like Siege, because sometimes you're just going to get destroyed over and over or have bad games. There's nothing you can do to avoid that. My first tip would be to stop focusing on the negative. If you go into a game with the mentality that you're going to lose, then you will lose. If you expect failure, then that is what you're going to get. In order to have success, you need to believe in yourself, and you have to believe in your ability and capabilities. You can't have a bad attitude or else that mentality will infect your entire team. This toxic mentality will cause people to communicate poorly and perform worse. If you've gotten into a bad habit of negativity, all I suggest is just reminding yourself to be positive. Eventually, you'll become more and more positive as you stop worrying about things that ultimately don't matter. The next tip is to not compare yourself to others. I know it can be demoralizing when you see other players doing far better than you, however you have to have the ability to accept your situation and to move onwards despite how well others may be doing. If you look at yourself poorly because you can't frag as well as you want, you're going to be down on your self esteem and you'll burn yourself out. Ultimately this will reduce your confidence and make it harder to play. This tip is to only focus on what's relevant. Everything that is relevant is everything in game that impacts the round. While yes, it may be nice to point out someone is possibly cheating, you should not obsess about it. I've had many ranked games where my teammates will obsess over the fact that a cheater is on the other team. And yes, I get it's annoying, but just play the game and keep doing your best. If you focus on something that you have no control over, you're wasting your energy. Other irrelevant things are ranks, levels, and other stats, along with things like the game chat. While it is okay to talk and chat, it should never interfere with your game. If you're trying to focus on a call or you're listening to someone, then don't worry about chat. If you're reading or typing in chat, you're going to be able to interpret whatever is being said. Another thing you need to know is that rank doesn't matter. If someone is a high rank, it does not mean they are good. In fact, rank has very little to do with skill. Almost anybody can get carried to plat 2 or 1. However, even if you're facing players at higher ranks than that, you can't worry about it. A champ player is no better than a diamond player because that diamond player could very well have thousands of hours more experience on other accounts, in scrims, or anywhere else. The point is, you can't say anything about someone based on their rank, and like I said earlier, you shouldn't be focusing on ranks anyway. Hopefully with this bit of knowledge, it will help you focus less on that. And my last tip is to focus on what you can change instead of what you can't change. For example, you can't stop someone from smurfing, hacking, or being simply better than you. And so because these things can't be changed, you shouldn't focus on them. It's that simple because really, it doesn't matter. Why focus on that when you can focus on refrags, opening walls, and securing site? Now if you want to follow my Twitter, Discord server, or Patreon, link will be in the description below, but that's all to say for this video, and if you learned something, give the video a like, and if you want to see more content like this, subscribe. Toodles.